guys just a real quick interruption and then I'll let you get back to the video because I know a lot of you have a short attention span like myself and uh, you're probably getting ready to click off but if you stuck it out this long and you haven't left yet thank you I appreciate that um, if you like today's video or you found it entertaining or helpful in any way please hit the like button it helps me get my content out there it helps me grow my channel um, so I would, I would really appreciate that uh, also, if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell while you're at it. Feel free to follow me um, on any of the social medias that I have listed down for you below. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll let you get back to it now. Cheers.
video. Just uh, about to stick on the polyurethane. I didn't get a video of it, but the uh, first stain that I did was this red color. I think it was called Barn Red. It was an oil-based stain. But I was going for more of like a red-orange shade or hue, so I bought this water-based, it's called Orange Dye Stain by General Finishes. I can link that. I'm gonna link everything from, you know, all the stains I use to the polyurethane just everything that I needed for this project. I saw, um, and I'm gonna be linking these straight edge things that made it really easy to clamp onto this, this piece of wood that I chose and to get a straight cut with the circular saw. Although my blade was really dull from, a, from building a pallet bit a while back, which actually turned out really cool. So yeah, it, the, the cut kind of messed up when I was trying to cut the uh, side platform for this. But I think the stain turned out pretty damn cool. I don't know if you can see it well in this light, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's like a red, red, um, so it's a barn red oil-based stain. Um, let that dry, sanded it with 220 real quick just with the orbital, which if you're gonna do this, I would recommend actually sanding it by hand because the orbital left some marks that I don't really like. You can't really tell, but I can tell because um, when I was doing it, I was like, I don't like that. After I sanded the oil-based stuff, I did the water-based um, dye stain, the orange one, so it gave it kind of an orange tint. So I'll see if you guys can see it. Might not be able to, but the green came out really cool. It's pretty much like red on the parts where there is no grain, and then the actual grain soaked in the orange. It looks really, really badass, actually. Um, and then I just kind of went ahead and you can see I kind of lined it with painter's tape because um, this is actually going to be the top. So I lined it with the painter's tape. I'm going to flip it over and then uh, I'm going to put poly on the other side first. I'm going to get all the coats on there and then um, once all those coats are done, then I'll start doing these coats. It says to let it dry for two hours before you throw another coat on. So now I'm going to take this side. This is like the little platform piece that I'm gonna have on there, on the side of the desk. And my tripod's being a dick. Hopefully that will stay there. Right now. Ooh. Yeah, you can kind of see the grain a little bit in this one. It's a little bit, I think. It's got like a reddish orange, which is what I was going for. I'm just gonna throw some painter's tape on this. And I am gonna give it a quick sand before I put the poly on. I've already sanded the red layer, but after I did the orange layer, I didn't, I did not um, sand it. So it's pretty much right on the edge. The freaking cicada right here, dude. And ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't know if you guys have ever seen a cicada, but they're freaky. They get right up in your face. I'm not a fan of that shit. Question is, do I hit him with the children's bat or? Do I use the chonkla? Do I use the fucking Nike? I think I'm gonna have to use it. Okay, let's do this. I don't know if you can see him. But you about to, trust me, he ain't gonna like this. Shit! <laughs> that motherfucker freaking out. That's why I don't like them, dude. They're too, like. <sighs> oh, he's got bug eyes. Yeah. Fucking shit! Alright, try to freak him out. He's not freaked out. I'm more scared of him. Many years of me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on doing this. Keep on doing my thing, little bug. Don't mind me. So there we go. So, boom. That's what I got. The reason I'm doing this is just so the polyurethane doesn't um, kind of run from the, the bottom side to the top side when it's drying. Flip this. So, now we have the big piece here. But basically, we're just going to look at that. Got my main desk area, and then that little piece is going to be the side piece. Might be a little crooked. Sorry about that. I'm going to go grab my sander. Light sand here. The 220. Do you guys remember those metal desks that had a, uh, like you, so you're sitting in your desk, right? 
and then the side is just like a big metal box. That's what this noise reminds me of. on top it is three quarter inch thick um, the only thing I will say though because I started with 150 grit and I went up to 200 so I went or no I went I think I went 120 150 180 200 when I was sanding it um, the birch layer is so thin that I actually went through to the plywood on a, on a um, small section I'll actually just show that once I get to it. So just be careful of that. Maybe just go like 120, 150, 180 or something like that. But other than that, it's a cool looking piece of wood. It has a lot of nice <laughs> grain in it. Um, I don't know, it just looks nice. So, yeah. For the poly, I am using the water-based but oil-modified Min wax. What the that fucking cicada, dude, I swear. I actually got this at Walmart. It's hard to tell which top coat to use because I did do a oil-based stain and then I did a water-based dye stain on top of it, which I guess, you know, you're probably not supposed to do them, but it came out cool. Um, so that's what I did. And then to spread on this polyurethane, I'm gonna use these foam brushes. I got like 20 of them at Walmart for like $4, I think, so. You never want to shake this, um, but I think stirring it like this is cool. Because what happens when you shake it is the it actually gets bubbles in it, and then you'll have bubbles in your top coat, which is not what you want. Now I'm just gonna go for it. The first coat you want to do really thin. You don't want it to be too crazy, too thick, because you're gonna do two more coats, and this is just like the base coat. Just take your time with it. You want it to look good. this it takes two hours I'm gonna go check what time it is and then I'm gonna do the smaller one that you guys saw probably won't videotape that because I don't have anywhere to put the camera now once you do one side you're gonna want to let it sit for two hours that's what it looks like I don't know if you guys can tell it's pretty cool 
but yeah, it's hard to see, I know, because of the light. Um, so you're gonna wanna let that sit for two hours and then give it a light sand with like 220 um, and then do one more layer. The next layer you can put on a little thicker because the base layer is the one that kind of binds it to the, the stain itself. And then you're just binding it to each layer of poly. Give it a sand with 220, just light sand. Do another layer, wait two hours, sand again, two more hours, and then you're good. And then do the other side. So last night, I finished applying all three coats of the poly for the desk. This is how it looks right now. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, so I'm taping up the, I'm taping up this side now to protect it, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the the other side. Did the other three layers, the other three coats. Now I'm taking off the tape. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. This is what this side looks like now. Pretty good. And um, also, if you're gonna do the um, what I did with the, I was talking about how Home Depot has like a plywood um, section. This is like a, this was a four by two piece, and then they had a thin layer of birch on top. And I still wanted to sand it, and smooth it out, and get it ready for staining. But I sanded just a little too much. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. It's right here, you can see like. It kind of went through that birch and then it went down to that plywood a little bit. Um, so if you're going to sand, make sure if you're going to go through four grits, like 120, 150, 180, 200, like I did, just make sure you don't sand too much um, or for too long in one spot because that'll probably end up happening to you too. And then this is just a side piece that is going to. I'm basically gonna have like this is my main desk, and then this is gonna be, um, it's gonna be lowered on the side over here, um, and I'm gonna rest my computer that I just built on that. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. So yeah, and then once I get these these legs built, put on, and marked out, and all that, I'll show you guys the the way I am going to assemble it and then I'll show you the finished product too. So I'll just give another quick shot of all this. Pretty cool. I really like it. I was not expecting it to turn out this good, honestly. But this is a, literally exactly what I had in my mind of um, just kind of like red and orange. I wanted a warm feel on this. It was either between that and gray, so it was either like, you either go for something really like cold and, but I, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting tired of the whole like gray scale thing now. I think that desktop turned out real cool, for real. I love that. Okay, so I have to make sure this is the same way. Okay, this is 29 and 5 sixteenths. Actually, it's 29 and 3 eighths. It needs to be 29 and 5 sixteenths. Because this, I can only get it down to 29 and 5 sixteenths. That's the lowest it will go. Because these ones I can't really adjust, you know? And this has to be the same distance. So this is 12, 12 and 5 eighths. Let's 
kind of cool that you can still adjust the legs and stuff in the morning. So that's a whole eight off. There it is. Yay! So 29 and 5 eighths. And 12 and 5 eighths. 12 and 5 eighths. That's it. Okay, so now I'll pre drill. Try not to let it rotate. Oh, you know what? I have to line that up to that before I drill my hole. Right. 